Good morning, guys. Happy Easter. Anyway, with COVID still prevalent and us not really being allowed to ride outside the village, I've decided to do a quick ride around the village loop and show you some of the changes that have happened in recent months or weeks. There's been a lot of cell site construction lately inside the village. Now with the trails being in easements, most cell site constructions actually happen on the trails. So trail builders like Ipsak, DJ Chito, all the rest had to reroute some of the trails to bypass the construction. So, we're gonna see you on the actually first rerouting they did. Okay, first change we're gonna look at is PR side B. Actually, a cell site under construction, right? right in the middle of two sets of switchbacks. Here we go. Here's where the changes happen. Now much tighter. Okay. Here's the first change. Um, go down there. And instead of going a bit further through the fence and up there, they actually made the switch back a lot tighter making it more of a challenge because as soon as you hit this you have to start pedaling so even before you have to downshift somewhere there and then smash all the way up this hill so let's try it And as soon as you go through that switch back, there's another rerouting down here. Okay. You go long here. And it goes deep. It's loose. Then mash up this hill. go Trails here instead of going through the fence you go right go down to those catch berms not really gentle turn and mash up the hill all the way through So that was FBR Skills Trail or Maria Christina B or whatever you want to call it. 
Well, that's pretty much the changes for the FBR Skills Trail. Now let's check out some of the other trails in the village. See what changes were made. Here we go. Next section is there's essentially a park. Uh, I don't know if it's more your Christina Park. Watch out for me. Trail entrance coming from FBR. You go down here. And before it actually went straight all the way through the senior park, then you could either exit right to the bridge going to uh, is that banaba or wait no. uh nara or you could go back left and do another loop of maria christina now they actually lengthen it a bit you turn left as soon as you enter the trail all the way through these routes loops around goes back on in on itself then you either take the uh, uh, either take the uh, uh, more difficult line or you loop back to the old route going to the bridge to Nara uh, let's do a full pull of the trail back here Light on the bike as you go over it. Whoops. Okay. Actually, learned a very important lesson yesterday on this very trail and is that you never underestimate the trail. Why, you ask? It looks pretty flat. Well, you can see there's a lot of routes that crisscross this trail. And one giant route actually caught me off guard yesterday. Not this one. Sending me OTB. Just as Neighbors, spectators, we're watching. Yeah, this is the route. See? Oh! Almost did it again. Let's try that one more time. Mo ichido onegaishimasu. Let's treat it like a curve. Oh, there you go. Take it slow. Looks pretty easy, but if you're not careful, they'll really send you OTB. Like what happened to me yesterday. You could actually take the right line. Just careful not to hit your handlebars here. I will beat you someday. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Being careful right now. It's the dry season. It's a bit dusty and the trails get blown out a lot. It's actually as slick as being on mud, if not more. Oh, 
that's where we came from so it loops in on itself I either turn left turn left to the old trail or try the new line which we were about to do careful, careful, careful. Oh. oh god it's slick now tip, now tip, now tip mash, mash nope <laughs> Short. Whoa, Ichido, onegaishimas. Whoa. Modulate the power. Don't slip out. Don't slip out. Don't slip out. Don't slip out. There you go. Oh, one more. Here. Easy on the brakes. Don't slip. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, there's a root. Complicating matters. Oh. <laughs> oh I'll get that someday and mini rock garden Whee! oh shit oh no oh no oh, oh. hit the crank I'll clean that someday anyway Ah. It merges back onto the old trail. Hey, now let's go. Let's go to market slash bamboo. Let's see what the trail builders put up there. Builders actually put in a like mini jump and a small drop people could session off of. Okay, he's one of the builders. Check. Anyway, let's check it out. Morning, thank you. Yay. Our very famous Tito Chucks Trail. I mean, it's like the go to trail in the entire village. And session it all day. Beat yourself up just on this trail alone. Very newbie friendly. Very XC oriented. Very cardio. Anyway. The changes happen right about here. So instead of going right to the old line, take this left. Roller. I need to switch back. Alright. Morning, Kuya. Oh, God, I hate right turns. Whee! Over here, switch back. Ooh, over there. That's all right. Switch back, which I suck at. Uh, 
put one down here. Right, left touch back. Right touch back. Then you have like two options. The old line to the right. Or you can take this left line that goes parallel to the village fence. Goes out the same way under that tree. Let's try the new line. This feature is newly dug. I don't wanna mess with it yet, so let's take this left one side. Oh, gravelly. I'm sinking. Oh, fuck. Oh. back on the ocean. Whee! It's blowy. Uh, one of my favorite parts. This king bridge. Over the swampy area. Down. Mash. This is one of, this is one of the faster parts of the trail. Big, 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 big. Slippery. That's it. Next trail is. Well, there's nothing really new with Batangas North Gravity section. It just doesn't get featured a lot. So, we're gonna do a full pull and get some footage. To the right is the village dog park, and the trail actually goes around it. The next change that happens is what well, you're about to see. Oh, mother of God, it's going. Anyway, the trail is supposed to go through here. Quite obviously, has been taped off. So now we have to go around. We anyway, that was the second to the last cell site. As far as I know, that impeded the layout of the trail. So now 
we're going to take a look at the last one. Or actually, the first one, meaning in terms of cell sites being erected, it was the first to actually go through the trail or impede the flow of the trail. And it's on the next one called Parrot Trail. Outside construction is in full swing. Oh, for the most part, the trail is intact. It's like one set of switchbacks gone. The trail I used to uh, loop around that tree and go out the other side here back to this trail. Obviously the trail builders had to straighten it out and reroute to avoid the tree and the cell site being, being built behind it. So moving on. The rest of the trail is pretty intact. Didn't really destroy the flow too much. I like it. You know, like this mini berm at the bottom. You can pump your, uh, pump your way out of. Whee! Oh. Stand again. Find that catch berm. Pedal up. Avoid the root on the right. Downshift. Oh. Burn. And the trail exit. That's pretty much the changes to the trails. Mostly rerouting for uh, cell site construction and some additional features. Happy Easter, everyone! And if you like this video, please hit the like button below and hit subscribe for more videos. Happy Easter again! Bye!